Hi Capricorn, this reading is for anyone who identifies as or is terribly interested in a Capricorn during April 2019. Specifically, we are now looking at the energy surrounding the uh, Libra full moon that we have tomorrow, Capricorn. So the time leading up to that full moon and the time following the full moon really through the end of the month. Sorry I couldn't get to you sooner, and I'm sorry I didn't get to you last month, Capricorns. Um, so we are actually going to do uh, two readings. should have said these readings. Um, I'm going to lay a general for you now, and then we'll do a love spread for you as well, Capricorns. It looks like it's a time for you all to find stillness. Um, even though we're not on the love reading yet, I do get the feeling from um, shuffling and meditating before recording that uh, uh, love or just sharing with others in general isn't working out the way that you want it to currently. There's not a lot of communication or forward movement happening regarding those things. You're feeling a little alienated and the cards already indicated on the bottom of the deck that um, it's it's a time for stillness with the Four of Swords. Um, yeah, just time to time to find gratitude for the things that uh, do bring you contentment that you are surrounded with now, and and to to just be comfortable in the stillness. I really think that mostly it's about being grateful for the stillness, uh, whereas some people may be resisting it a little currently. Um, and I'm I'm sure that's what's coming through as we also have the hangman. Um, as your leading card here, as what's what's covering you, Caps, I think, <clears throat> I don't know if this is too loud, I don't think you can hear this. Um, I've decided that I need to listen to, I've decided that sometimes I need to listen to some music that really I cannot use on here, so I'm just going to try to keep it low enough that you can't really hear it, but with the hangman here, um, Yeah, I think you. I think you are needing to find gratitude for stillness at this time, Capricorns. Um, possibly because you need a new perspective, whether you realize it or not. When you see the hangman, and and you should be enjoying one currently. Well, you should be. Um, you should have one available to you currently, but the the key is enjoying it, actually enjoying it. Um, some of you are, some of you aren't aren't there. I think it's taking, it feels like it's taking too much time. You're sort of watching the clock and um, in a sense at least, and you're suspended in between two focuses, two ways of being. Um, could be two people. It could be two two projects. Like likely, it's two two projects. But you're you're suspended in between um, two sort of ways of being, and crossed with, met with the Queen of Wands, the Fire Queen, um, a very passionate, commanding energy around you. She commands attention and often without trying very, very hard at all. Now this could be your own energy that is, is coming into being at present. Um, I more so think that uh, if anything, it would be what you are headed toward in the future after taking this time for, as I said, stillness and gratitude. And the four of swords also talks about, um, that we had on the bottom of the deck at the beginning, right? It's also talks about, um, like an incubation period. So you may be getting something like a passion project ready or um, a version of yourself that you feel passionately about. You may be getting that ready to um, express outwardly into the world. If not for others, I really do feel like this Queen of Wands is somebody else around you who's just influencing you. And, and there, and again, would be a reason why you're headed toward uh, embodying that same type of energy yourself because you're you're happily influenced to a certain extent by it. Um, besides, you know, other than those of you who are dealing with the fire sign, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo uh, in the way of love that's not working out. But we will probably expand on that more in the love reading in the next reading. And I should have that time stamped for you. I managed to do that in the Leo reading. Uh, 
the Four of Swords is also was also talking about solemn contemplation, um, solitude, meditation, all by yourself. Show you know showing that gratitude, going within and um, checking in with how you feel now that you've survived whatever battle you've just been through, possibly um, alone on your own without anybody in your ear, really. Okay. Knight of Wands, the Justice card reversed in the recent past. Interesting, as we have the Libra Moon actually coming up for you in the very near future, tomorrow. We've got the Seven of Swords reversed. We've got the Hierophant reversed. The Five of Wands and the Tower. I don't know if you can see these. I'm just going to scoot everything up a little bit here. I think you can see this. Okay. Um, so let things fall apart. Here's, you know, here's the piece of advice that's standing out to me. Major Arcana, the Tower card. You see these people tumbling from their um, accepted positions wherever they had been in life. And this is what you're advised to do. Let it fall apart. Let it fall, fall apart. Acknowledge the ego drama and engage in it if need be. Engage in it if need be. Do you have some things that you need to get off your chest? Do you have some beliefs that differ from people around you that you need to express? You need to talk about. You need to make it known. I don't see things the same way you do. I don't like what you did there. I don't like how you handled that situation. Um, let let the ego drama uh, take place if it if it just needs to. And um, and let things fall apart if that's what's going to happen as a result. That's exactly what I see here. It looks like someone, uh, someone in the the root of your current situation, whatever's brought you to the reading, Capricorns, um, Well, actually, I think you in the, it was you, Caps, in the uh, root of the situation, you were attracting like-minded individuals, kindred spirits. But possibly somebody, possibly someone else who was in and uh, very much in and then out of the situation with you. Um, Short-lived, someone who appeared... had somewhat of a pleasant interaction with you and then disappeared again. For some of you. For others, that's just indicating that, like I said, you've been attracting like-minded individuals, kindred spirits. You've also got the Page of Cups here. It's on the bottom of the deck now. I don't know if you can see that at all, but we'll leave it here next to us. And I'm just going to grab a couple of clarifiers for us. What's the justice card in your <clears throat> recent past? Some there's been some sort of um, abuse of power. Some somebody something unjust, you know, something not fair has taken place, and I think that's what this this ego drama is about for you, Capricorns. It may have been you being unfair to yourself because you couldn't forgive yourself for something. Um, two clarifiers you have here, the uh, Judgment card reversed and the uh, Seven of Pentacles. For others, it may have been um, someone else outside of yourself who, who, with whom you did not resurrect a relationship because things were unfair and unjust. Um, and in that case, I think it was just taking too long for... Um, For the for for this other person to um, I guess behave the way that they needed to is how I want to say it in order to make things work with you um, it would have eventually worked but it was just taking too long especially uh, when you are uh, as I said um, attracting like-minded individuals currently so and it also I I really feel like since um, I want to give this message simultaneously. I really feel like it's a project for most of you, actually, because, um, the like I said, the love reading is next. So 
probably uh, it may have been some some sort of way of life, some sort of project, some something you were working on may have been what you did not resurrect, or or again what you could not forgive yourself um, for uh, over, like you you something something about it you handled incorrectly. Um, and it made, maybe that made the project take too long to come to fruition. Um, yeah. Something, but, but as I said, something was not, something was not resurrected. Relationship, a project, and again, it, it would have been successful, but it was just taking, it was just taking too long, I think. Um, it was just taking too long. So some of you scrapped the project, probably, that doesn't mean that everybody did. Uh, there's definitely some ego drama involved here, and again, an abuse of power. So for a few of you, it was it was you. You were unjust. You were unfair. You're having trouble forgiving yourself for this mistake, um, and you're sort of you're sort of waiting to see how that turns out. But for most of you, I think it was someone else, maybe involved in a passion project, maybe one of these pe with you. I mean, uh, maybe one of these people who. Um, Sorry, uh, my phone's alerting me to unnecessary things. Um, maybe one of these people who came in uh, quickly or not, but as a kindred spirit, as a like-minded individual, turned out to uh, abuse some some power, do something unjust in a situation with you, home life, work life, either either or. And that's what I think this ego drama needs to be talked out about. I think you just need to 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 let it out, Capricorns, and again, let it fall apart if that's what's going to happen. For those of you who are seeing, you know, well, regardless, whether it's work or or love, I was going to say for those of you seeing this as a romantic reading, but, it, you know, we're not going to read it like that. Whether it's work or love related, um, some of you in this space of stillness, like we like we talked about at the beginning, you have this fiery, passionate, commanding, beautiful, vital um, energy, probably feminine energy coming in and influencing that situation. Uh, somebody who... Um, you have to have that ego drama out with or somebody who is um, inspiring you to work through it, right? Either, either way. Then you have in the near future the Seven of Swords reversed. So if someone um, has not been revealed yet for whatever unjust unfair abuse of power perhaps uh, that took place in the past it's coming out if that was you Capricorns it's coming out I'd say with this Libra full moon energy absolutely it's coming out and then we have the the hair font reverse this is the final outcome this is um, by the end of the month or even um, moving through next month and, and, and by the, the end of uh, Taurus season at that point, since we'll be in Taurus season tomorrow as well, Capricorns. Um, interesting, 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 because we're moving into Taurus season and you've got the Hierophant reversed in the final outcome. A Taurian card and we the reading really is about the energy surrounding the the Libra full moon and like I said you've got that justice card in the recent past a, a, a Libra card right for me and and I think you know that's what that's what makes me think that I really think that whomever has um, done something sneaky, done something they've been trying to cover up, um, again, unjust, unfair, someone, anyone who's uh, stolen in, in any way, shape, or form, they're going to be revealed, and I, I, I really think it's with this energy of the full moon, it's what's going to bring or pull it out.
Let's get one clarification card on the hair font reversed. That can be um, an unethical teacher, um, just trying something untraditional, breaking away from tradition in general. Um, that can be um, someone being unfaithful, someone being disloyal. Um, Yeah, and I think that's ultimately what you're going to find out about this person who is revealed in the very near future. And I that's that's Capricorns. That's why your advice is go ahead and engage in the petty ego drama. Go ahead and have this fight. Go ahead and have this battle about beliefs, perhaps, that maybe cannot come to any conclusion. Just to, to, to clear the air, to get it out there. Let things fall apart. And when they do, you're going to see who the culprit is when when you have this out and let things fall apart you're gonna you're gonna find out um uh some some lie that was told some um unjust unfair behavior that took place um something like again per that was perhaps stolen in some sense <clears throat> one clarification on the hierophant reversed capricorns Yeah, you're just waiting to see. You're just waiting to see. Stay in that state of gratitude. Say your affirmations. Oh my gosh, say your affirmations, Capricorns. I can't tell you how much that has saved my life. Saved my life. Because, you know, you just sort of drone through them on a daily basis. I do. Even if I just get through the ones that I like to say once. Um, I, I like, I am divine, unlimited, confident love energy. And I am completely independent of the good or bad opinions of other people. That's just one of the the, the handful that I cycle through. And, and I just be it into myself every day. I mean, that's maybe not the way to say it, but I just, you know, drill that through my mind and it feels like nothing when I'm doing it. It feels like nothing in the moment, but it just saves my life later when, when someone does break my heart, when someone did betray me or lie to me, when, when something happens that, that, that would stand to tear me down. It's like, there's something holding me, comforting me. And it's this knowing that I have insisted on knowing. It's these truths that I have insisted on um, making the backdrop of my mind, making the, the padding that I fall to when something causes me to fall, when things do fall apart, when someone does hurt my feelings, basically. I, you know, that's what I fall on is this, this, padding really that I've layered there with these words every day and they like again they feel like nothing when they're as they're coming out but and it may be a situation where tempers flare whomever you need to have the ego drama out with they may be this energy here that you're met with you're waiting to see what happens with them or what they're going to do and 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 it may be this passionate energy who's very beautiful and commanding um but she and she also has a she can be crazy she also has a temper especially in the reverse she's showing up upright but she still can have a temper she's very intense because she's very passionate and so you know it may be whether it's a fire sign literally or not it may be a fiery temper that you're met with that may be why you're just sort of waiting to see how things shake out rather than wanting to engage in this but again just that's your biggest piece of advice here if you go ahead and engage in that ego drama let things fall apart you're going to find out what you need to find out the secrets are going to come out the culprit is going to be known so take that you know take that piece of advice also if you're the one who i think it's just a very very few of you but if you're the one who has done something unjust or has been lying sneaking around if you engage in this ego drama which you are advised to and you let things fall apart which you all are advised to you know your your that's going to be your honesty is going to have to come out too your truth is going to going to be exposed there this is beautiful. These are your clarifiers on the that hair font in reverse. Um, it may turn out that someone has been disloyal, um, maybe to a project or to you as a friend, etc. In some way, it may turn out um, that someone's been unfaithful in some sense. But this is meant to fall apart and meant to fall away from your life, Capricorns, because. You know, if you have if you have this belief in the tarot, this is what it's saying to you. If you have that belief in the tarot, this is what it's saying to you. 
it this person finding out that this this person or this the you know this party maybe it's a group of people who have been um uh, disloyal friends have betrayed you in some sense uh or co-workers etc it's meant to fall apart i mean you are advised to have it out let this fall apart find out what they're lying about right see see the the disloyalty and and know this is what you've come here for. Know that it's meant to, especially with the Tower card, because this is your reversal of fortune. This is where things look up, and this is where you head toward true happiness, total, uh, total fulfillment, contentment, shared emotional um, contentment. Share it. This is this is sharing joy, and you see them looking at the rainbow here. This is sharing joy. So much so, spreading joy, so much so that it is reflected back to you in the life and world around you, in the reality that you engage in. This is familial love. So, you know, whether it's whether it's a new group of friends, um, a new group who serves as a family, um, or a new partner. Like I said, a few of you may be going ahead and looking at this general as a love reading to begin with. Um, it, either way, in any case, it's meant to fall apart with that tower card in your advice, and it's because this is this is leading you where you're meant to go. This is your reversal of fortune. This is what brings you the the happiness, the partnerships, the friendships, the 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 familial love that's so joyful that then that joy is reflected back to you all around you that you've been looking for, that you truly want deep down that your authentic self truly wants deep down even if you're disconnected from that at the, at this time and if you are with the we with the four of swords and the um hangman here then it's time to use this time to meditate and reconnect like i said that in in and you do that by showing gratitude for the things that you do still have maybe a partnership of, of one type or another fell apart um and you can stay in your head about that right? You can stay in your head and mull that over and mull that over, or you can look around at your family. What family members are lifting me up? You can look around at your friends. What, what friends are still lifting me up? Um, you know, no matter who's torn you down, no matter who's hurt your feelings, you still have something to be grateful for. You gotta, you gotta reconnect and show that gratitude in this space while you're waiting to see what happens. And, and again, let things fall apart if they need to. Have these fights and let them fall apart if they need to. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be fun to find out what whatever this lie is, what's been unfair, what's been unjust, who's been disloyal. It's not going to feel good. There's so much Pisces energy here, too, with the hangman as your main card. So you may have some significant Pisces energy in you, Caps. Um, you may have some some significant Pisces energy in you because you've also got this, like I said, page of cups on the bottom of the deck here, um, who has an offer of love, uh, has an offer of emotion, is timid, um, timid and, and, and maybe even shy, slow moving, um, but 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 has this genuine genuine offer of emotion that's that's presiding over the reading if you do have significant pisces energy in you then i feel like that's you and i also feel like this king of, of cups on the bottom of the deck reverses you and you know you want to make sure that you're not lying to yourself um about who needs to fall away in your life right now. I think you, I think, yeah, I think you may be um, stifling your own creativity over this situation um, by, by, like I said, staying in your head and focusing on like um, waiting for a pot to boil, focusing on watching a pot, right? Because you're, you're waiting for this to boil the situation to boil over and I think that's again another reason why you're advised to just go ahead and force it to boil over yourself have it out let it fall apart um okay but that can be stifling your creativity um stifling you mentally mentally and physically both
and it can be their dishonesty can be causing you to be dishonest as well whether that means you're being dishonest with them or you're being with dishonest with yourself i think it's that you're being dishonest with yourself about your intuition your dreams your dreams your dreams capricorns are already telling you um who's who's going to fall away here what's going to fall away where the betrayal lies where where the sneaky behavior is um who has been unfaithful in some some way and, and listen to your dreams listen to your intuition It may be someone, I feel like it may be an earth sign or an earthy energy. The earth signs are Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, but they, do, you don't, they don't have to necessarily identify with that. They could just be um, an earth-like energy. Maybe, you know, we all have all of the signs in our chart somewhere, so maybe they're living through an earth part of their chart. You know, they could be expressing um, these slow-moving um uh, detail oriented very stubborn oops okay um but yeah maybe this 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 grounded practical slow moving but stubborn energy that you've made a timid offer to if there's someone like that in your life that very well may be the person that you're about to see clearly and need to cut just to get real super specific for some of you who resonate with that. Um, yeah, I could just keep going on and on and we're almost 30 minutes in. So I'm going to go ahead and cut to the love reading. But I hope that that uh, message reached you, Capricorns. Hope the insight was uh, met you. Hope you were able to meet it there. So with that, I will leave that situation in your capable hands and move on to the love reading for April 2019 for Capricorns. Again, we are still focusing um, specifically on, um, I'm going to use the Raider, Raider, Radiant Rider Weight Tarot here, but we are, we are again focusing specifically on, um, the energy leading up to surrounding and following the Libra full moon that we have tomorrow. So what is going on Capricorns in your love lives? If that first reading was about your uh, loving partnership, then perhaps this will just expand. Um, yeah, you're having trouble walking away. You're having trouble walking away from something currently, the Capricorns that uh, this reading is for but you are healing you, but you are healing i resonate so deeply with both of these messages capricorns and i do have three capricorn planets but that's that's not that's not something i nor normally notice with you all makes sense because i have three capricorn planets um yeah you're having trouble you're having trouble walking away but you are healing it's a healing that is taking place at long last um with the Eight of Cups reversed, you just haven't moved on yet. But with the Nine of Swords reversed, this, this healing has been coming for a while. This letting go of this, this person has been coming for a while, Capricorns. And you're starting to experience relief, even though you have not dis completely let them go yet. You maybe have not, a lot of you maybe haven't even completely decided to let them go. Uh, but it is happening. Uh, they, You are moving away from them. And I sense that a great deal of you do not want to hear that. But you, you are moving away from them. And you can already feel the relief that that offers you. Because it has, you've been needing that relief for a long time. Like I said, long time coming. Um, 
and the root of the situation, you haven't been tending to yourself. You haven't been showing uh, gratitude for, for all that you have, probably because you've been focused on this, this situation with this person that you're having trouble walking away from. I know that struggle. Um, but there are still so many, 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 many and more things to be grateful for every day. Um, even if the one has left, you know, if you subscribe to that belief, I'm not really sure that I do. I don't know why I said it that way. It might be, um, that might be something, uh, that resonates with you all. There is a lie in the near future. There is new love in the final outcome. Beautiful. Let's get a couple pieces of advice. So. It may be that you need to walk away from this person for a time so that the both of you can undergo the healing that that requires. And when you undergo that healing, you evolve into people who can actually make it work together because this can be new or renewed love in the final outcome of the situation, Capricorns. But first, a perspective shift is required. There may be a lie that you've been telling yourself, that someone's been telling you that you need to own up to or uh, allow yourself to see clearly and accept. So this is a need for a new perspective. It can also be a lie here in the near future. Uh, that's going to be a, that's going to be a big part of this healing that you're already starting to go through. Like I said, you can already start to feel experience the relief, even though you haven't you haven't completely moved on yet. And like I said, the, you know, this could be new or renewed love. So for some of you, you won't move on, you know. But you do need to walk away for at least a time. And I always return to that. I love that. I think I'll always return to that. There's no reason you can't look at it that way when you're walking away. You don't, we don't know, you know. Um, even even those of us who engage in, in predictive practices every day, we do not know for sure where your path will lead to, where both of your paths will lead to, where you will end up. We do not know what timelines we might jump, what shifts may occur. We do not know what uh, you know our own or uh, someone else's free will might do to to um, uh, influence, change a path, a situation, a set of events, a person's mind and heart. Right, um, but. It, that you know, but you do need to walk away from them right now. And the thing of you know, I, I always return to at least for a time, because because since you do not know, you know exactly what's going to happen given all of the factors, um, in the in the long distance in the eventual future, right? Um, since you can't know for a hundred and ten percent sure, I guess I should say. There's no reason you can't tell yourself that, you know, well, I'm definitely going to walk away for a time and then I'm going to see how I feel about it, how it looks from that perspective, from that point, once I have, you know, allowed myself some alone time, because um, you clearly, you know, needed this, this meditation and the root of the situation here um, that you didn't get, you didn't get that alone time. And so you didn't have time to show gratitude for all the other things in your life that keep you happy and healthy, right? Um, because I think you were so focused on the fact that someone in your life was giving to two people or in some other way was uh, things weren't equal. There was not an equal give and take between you and this person, maybe because they weren't being faithful, but maybe because, you know, they weren't doing their half of the housework, you know, you know, it could be anything, right? They, there just wasn't an equal give and take. Could also be that somebody wasn't meditating, somebody wasn't doing solemn contemplation, and they started getting in their head and thinking that that the other party was giving to two people, right? And, and, and they weren't with this in reverse, they weren't, no one was. Um, it could be, you know, it could be any of those scenarios. They're all stressful. They all keep you focused inward. They all keep you focused on one other person, one relationship. And, and yes, that's what this reading is about, but it's, it's expressing to you that that is exactly what's caused the problem and the root of the situation, not having an alone time, not having gratitude for other people and other things, not, you know, uh, not, uh, 
not thinking clearly, not thinking clearly, because you need that alone time and meditation to think clearly, you really do, um, has led to the stress that leaves you in a position now where you need to walk away from something that you, or somebody that you can't, that you just, you're just feeling incapable of it. At the same time, because the whole situation was so stressful for you, as you float away from them slowly, even, you know, even without wanting to, you already feel the relief and there will, there will be this need for a perspective shift. I'm certain that it's, it's a need for this meditation. And that's what the, the general reading called for. Meditate, be still, find gratitude in the stillness, find gratitude for the stillness. Um, you have, you have to have to find gratitude for other things in your life, other people in your life. And, and once you've experienced that perspective shift, um, or as I said, it could also be, it, it can be talking about a perspective shift because somebody could be lying. Uh, once you've experienced that perspective shift, owned up to anything that you're lying about, accepted any truths that you need to that are right in front of you, I think what you'll see is that your memories of your time with this person are skewed a little. You're remembering all the good times, um, you're remembering all their good qualities, but there are reasons why the situation was so stressed that it has come to this point where there's a need to walk away for at least a time. There's a reason why. And if there's any hope of the two of you walking back toward each other, you would have to figure out what those reasons were and, and figure out how to fix that. You know, are those things that both of you can change or whomever needs to? Uh, or was it a third party situation, right, where someone was was uh, giving to two people? Um and there's no, there's no escaping that. There's no way around it. There's just letting go. This perspective shift that you're going to enjoy, that's going to shed light on the past and make you remember why, right? Why, you know, try to remember why things didn't work out, why this person isn't perfect, none of us are, you know, we're not bashing them, but why the the union could not move forward successfully, at least at this time. Um, for some of you, it will be a lie coming out. It will be you going within, meditating, and seeing what you think that lie is, calling this other person out on it, or going ahead and admitting uh, what you need to admit to them, it's gonna, it's going to be painful. Um, but you're almost at the end of the situation. You have two nines here, the nine of cups reversed, suggesting to us that you are not engaging in enough self love. You are not letting you have what you want and need. Um, but it, it's also paired with this other nine here. Um, together are saying to me that. Um, the divine is, is working on this situation with you. There, there is this light being shed on the situation um, through your own efforts and the efforts of the divine. And you are coming to the close of a cycle, you know, 9, 10. You're right there. You're very close. There's just a little bit of work left to be done, and it's, it's on yourself. It's on finding time for solitude, time for meditation, time for gratitude for other things, time for loving yourself, time for remembering what your dreams and wishes are and seeing the truth that you're the only one who can give yourself those things and you're the only one who's actually truly depriving yourself of those things currently. And it may feel like, you know, there's an, you have other, you need to do the work. You need to do the work and you need to make your home life something that's comfortable and stable um, without this person. And that's what the divine is saying to you here. You don't want to, but the divine is saying to you, honestly, Cap, I, I, I hate this because I've been through it and it's not fair and I stomp my feet about it. But, but it, the divine is saying tough cookies. You want to be someone who can have that type of a relationship, whether it's with that specific person or not. You have to show yourself love first. You have to do your work without them. You have to make your home comfortable without them. They're just saying like that's the path. That's the path to having what you what you really wanted with this person, what you wanted so badly that you're having trouble walking away from it now. That's the way you get there. Loving yourself, showing gratitude for the other things, finding time, finding time for alone time and loving it relishing in it enjoy your alone time enjoy your own company 
and, and let yourself have your wishes. Let yourself have your dreams. That's how you're going to be able to fight for something like this. You know, no matter who, no matter where, no matter when, you're going to have to, in, in any in, in a relationship dynamic, stand up for what you believe in and stand up for the relationship itself when there, there are problems, right? And that's what's going to give you the power and the energy to, to do so and to match a partner who will also do so. Because that's what you've been having trouble with is someone giving you what you're putting out, what you're giving to them, right? Well, if you, you know, you want someone who's strong enough to fight for it, to stand up for it, um, and to stand up to you when you need to face off about your beliefs, right? Then you have to match that energy and you're feeling weak. You're feeling fragile. You're either overflowing with emotion or you're, you know, um, well, I think, I think you're at a place where you're overflowing with emotion, but some of you could just be like turning them off, right? And you are advised here to acknowledge that you're doing that. When you do that, you are at risk of, of becoming irrational, becoming paranoid, um, becoming overwhelmed, becoming lost, right? You're just, you're, you're ex you become extra in some way, right? In a, in a weepy, leaky, unmanageable way. It's hard for even the people who love you, who are close to you to manage that, right? Uh, she, this, she just has to deal with herself. She does. She just has to deal with herself and deal with her emotions. And you don't, you don't want to, for some reason, you're advised to see that. And that's why I was telling you that this lie coming out may hurt. Uh, in the near future, you, you may want to be less overly emotional, more toward the numb side. That that sounds like questionable advice. It does. But um, I, I, I just, I some of you aren't ready for the lie that's going to come out, that it's going to be exposed in the near future um, or to come out with it yourself. Um, and, and so that's why it's, it, you're advised here, I think a little bit also to just turn your emotions down just a little bit, because I think that some of you have them right at the edge. You have them right about to boil over the surface, right? Because you are thinking that when you two, ha um, have communication again, or, or, or start talking about the issues again, that things are going to be resolved because you're not ready to walk away, even though you can feel the relief of having some space from them currently. Um, and instead you're going to be met with the reason why some of you, the reason why you don't actually want that. The truth that shows you why you can't actually even do that right now. And it's better. I'm not saying be numb. I'm not saying be numb. You want to know what you're feeling, but it's better to have those emotions turned down, dialed down, tuned back just a little bit so that you don't, I don't, you know, lose your temper with them or um, become completely distraught, devastated, right? You don't want to um, overload yourself or them, either one. Um, and so it's just tune them, turn them down just a little bit, turn them down just a little bit. That doesn't mean don't know what you're feeling, but just don't be so ready to express it, right? Go ahead and tell yourself that when the worst happens, when the white lightning is coursing through your veins and you're in shock and it just doesn't make sense and how could they and why would they and what are the questions you should even be asking, right? Go ahead and tell yourself that the thing to do in that moment is nothing. Say nothing. Do nothing. Wait. Sit. Sit down for 10 minutes. Sit down for 10 minutes because you want to respond, not react way easier said than done but that's what i'm here for is just just to say things to you and then you have to do the things right um but ultimately all of this wounds around boils down to new love if you do this work you know if you follow this path that we've been talking about face this truth allow this perspective to shift Allow this time apart, this time for yourself, this time for gratitude, this time for your own dreams and wishes and visiting how you're keeping them from yourself, how you're avoiding work because of this person, how your home life suffers and is all focused around them when it should be focused on you, right? If you follow this path, you're headed towards new love. Maybe it is renewed love with this person. Maybe. 
Maybe it is. We could expand on that in a private reading if you'd like to. We could absolutely find that out. I could just pull a card, yes or no, you know? Let's do that. Let's do that. But, you know, again, it's going to be it's going to be different for every individual. So if it's if it's not for you, it's not for you. And again, if you'd like a private reading with me, we can always do that. Scroll down to the description box below to check out your options and the links. Wow. Well, if it's a Leo, it's definitely that person. It's going to be a renewed love with that Leo. And that's interesting because we had the fire sign in your general reading, which you may want to visit if you skipped right to love. They were probably connected messages for you. Definitely, yes, if it's a Leo. But um, in general, um, with the strength card upright, it, it, it could it could go either way. But in general, I feel a yes from this. I feel like, yeah, it. this is the potential for renewed love with the same person you don't want to walk away from. I didn't expect that at all. I did not expect that. Now, for the few of you who that doesn't end up resonating with, this is asking you to to show res the restraint we were just talking about. Show the re show the restraint and and uh, and and control that we normally see in the strength card. Someone taming their own desires because you are still headed toward new love, even even if it's not renewed love with this particular individual. But if your person is a Leo. Um, in general, like I said, I feel a yes from this, but it's a definite 100% hell yes if it's a Leo. But you got to walk the walk. You got to walk the path to get there. You can't just, like I said, that's, you know, that's what the divine's saying. That's what I was, that's what I was saying before. That's what the divine's saying. You don't want to work by yourself without them. You don't want to achieve your dreams without them. You don't want to show yourself self-love and mind, body, and emotional body in all the ways that you need to without them there. You, you know, you don't want to take care of yourself without them there. You don't want to, to take care of your home without them there. That's what the divine is saying. They're saying tough cookies because you, you two are never going to be able to work it out if you can't do those things on your own. That's just the that's just the message coming through. And I so hope that the insight reached you, that you connected with it, Capricorns. Um, thank you so much for all of your support to Lunar Tix 